Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. I always feel like you don't have enough money in this game. So actually, I grinded up a bit in between the episodes, just just around Link's house to get just to 100 rupees, 105, I guess. Uh, just so that we had a little more money to work with when we head into Kakariko Village, because if we can get our shield there, I'm going to want to pick it up. And let's go talk to... Have you seen my little gully anywhere, Link? I'm sure he's just playing somewhere nearby, but people have been talking about monsters. If you happen to find him, tell him to hurry home, alright? No, no question about why I still have the sword, why I just swang it a bunch in front of her. Uh, nothing like that. But I guess she is worried about her child more so than she's worried about this sword. It's the dad that's going to be worried about the sword. So let's go see him. We did kind of leave our blacksmith training for no real reason. Like, let's go talk to him. Hey, you get that sword to the captain yet, Link? What? He and Ceres are turning to paintings? He's still asleep or dream and dreaming or something? Get it together. Oh, well, whatever. I've got something else on my mind. Have you seen Gully anywhere? The reason I ask is people have been seeing monsters around here. Gully's a chip off the old block, so I'm not all that concerned. But the wife is, so I'm worried for her. Yeah, they're not going to say anything about the fact that you're wielding the sword now. You've no longer decided to give it back. That's all irrelevant. But they want us to find Gully. I'm sure we'll we'll come across him at some point while we're running around Kakariko, so I'm not too worried. But I figured it's nice to make a quick stop in there. We have Fortune's Choice. Nice little chest mini game. Um, a bee house doesn't give me a sign there. And I don't know what this place is. It seems to be locked. Someone inside is raising a fuss over what to wear today. How peculiar. Yeah, we can't get into that place, I guess. There's a milk bar, there's a coop, it looks like. Yeah, nothing interesting in that one. But we, we were headed to the mayor's house, weren't we? Or it's right, the elder's house. I guess he's not necessarily the mayor. Well, I shouldn't be killed. I've made all the grinding off screen, so I wouldn't have to do it on screen. Oh, there's this guy. But... Oh, a customer. Don't be shy. Come on over. Hello, Brent person. Listen, kid, I didn't do it, whatever it was, so leave me alone, okay? Okay. I want this bottle, and that's why I grinded up to 100 rupees. Because bottles are nice, you can put all sorts of things in it, and it's another item we can use. Uh, unfortunately, it does mean that we're going to have trouble getting our shield right now. It was pretty much a, if we couldn't get our bottle, we would get our shield. But there is another weather vane. I actually completely missed this during my first time going through this uh, for my file. So I'm like, why is there no t there's no fly point to Kakariko of all places? Yeah, I, I felt silly once I found it. It's like, oh, I should have passed this like ten times. So we pick up these. Oh, we don't have actual access to that yet. Rip, I was going to jump down that well that we can see. And we also have this area, which there's a nice treasure chest that we, I guess, need bombs for to get rid of these boxes so we can get through. Lots of stuff in Kakariko Village is set up for later, it seems. It seems to be locked. Alright, so we can't go on that side, but we can go on the other. Sure. Oh! S. Zelda. Master Sword. Yes, something about Princess Zelda and the Master Sword. Oh dear, dozed off again. We found Sahasrila. Hmm. It's you, Link. But the look on your face, so grim. Child, what's the matter? <gasps> Ceres was turned into a what? A painting? And then she was stolen away? And Princess Zelda sends you here to me to tell me... Ah, I see. That can mean only one thing. I'm sure you've heard the legends of old about the seven sages and the hero who saved Hyrule. Uh, tell me. Tell you, of course, but surely you have heard of this. Every child of Hyrule grows up hearing of that hero and fearing Ganon. Long ago, Ganon the Demon King nearly destroyed our peaceful world. Just when Hyrule was on the brink of ruin, the hero of legend appeared. He gathered the descendants of the seven sages who had once sealed Ganon in darkness. And together, they defeated the Demon King and sealed him away once more. Hyrule was saved. But oh, this talk of legends must stop. There's no time to waste. 
Ceres is a descendant of the original Seven Sages who sealed Ganon in darkness all those years ago. This Yuga you speak of, he must be after the Seven Sages of Maje. He surely intends to free Ganon. Oh no! When I heard the rumors of a strange man lurking near Eastern Plan Palace, I sent my pupil, Asphala, to investigate. I've put him in danger, for he's also a descendant of the Seven Sages. I'm sure Yuga will be waiting for him. I'll never make it in time to warn him, but you, Link. Could you hurry to Asphala and tell him everything, please? I've made a note of the location of the Eastern Palace on your map. You can zoom in and out by using the plus and minus, but you may know that already. There's no time to lose. Go now, quickly. That is what we took care of yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday at the end. How curious, I haven't seen Osphala today, I, I do wonder. He's probably out somewhere trying to prove himself a great hero, and all for Princess Zelda's sake too. <sighs> there was a time when I thought Osphala will be my hero. I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. And this was the locked door, so I don't know why they locked that door first. Is it just so you didn't enter? Because yeah, it's unlocked now. It's just you didn't enter the wrong room, and you had to go through Os You had to go through the... Um, See, not Sage's cutscene, the uh, Elder's cutscene. But we've got ourselves a bottle. Normally, we'd want to fill it with a potion or something. But I want to go visit this bee guy, because I want to see if he does anything now that we have a bottle. Because I would think he'd want to give us one of these. Let's talk to him. Buzz Buzz, Link. Long time no see. Huh? Don't you remember me? I've been catching bees ever... No, since back... Since way back in the day. Well, I guess I've changed a bit. Takes a bee to see a bee, so I've become a different person. Now every buzzy calls me the bee guy. So just be between us. I wonder if you'll do me a favor. I want you to catch bees for me. You can keep them nice and safe in bottles. What? You don't have a net? Because you're helping me out, I'll give you one of mine. You got a, the net. You can now catch bees and more. Spending my days surrounded by a buzzy swarm of bees has always been my fondest dream. So use that net to gather up some bees, if you please. Of course, I'll reward you for being so helpful. So, really, we wanted the bottle so we could get the uh, bug catching net. I know that used to be a restriction uh, in... Uh, what's it called? Between A Link to the Past, but now we have the net. And, just at a random chance, when cutting through bushes and grass and stuff like that, uh, a bee can come out. Is there a back entrance to this one? No. Alright, let's just walk right into the bar then. This episode is going to be primarily Kakariko. I'm also going to be trying to grind up enough rupees to... Yeah, there's no back entrance. Doesn't seem to be anything really interesting there. Man, I just can't believe how good this milk tastes. And with the musicians here too, this pally is the best. Huh? Say what now? I'm not slacking off, I'm on a break from my patrols. What do you want? Can't a guy just drink his milk in peace? Ah, oh, sorry, don't mean to be a crump. I'm just thinking about how magnifying glass and how you'd read maps with them. But my eyesight's going, and now not even a magnifying glass helps. I don't want to purchase any milk today, so we're not going to talk to Talon, I think is his name. Um... But there should have still been something interesting in this time. I'm gonna cut this hoping for a B. Nope, no B. I got to see one a little earlier while I was grinding up for the hundred rupees, and I'm like, oh, of course, of course you'd show up now. But let's go check. Item shop. With a big shield on the front, it's probably where we can pick up a shield. Let's see, we have a choice between. Uh, a scoot fruit takes you to the dungeon's entrance, and a foul fruit makes you squeal so loud you scare away enemies, and of course, a shield. Perfect sense with all the monsters outside the village. They sprang up so suddenly. Sell it to us for fifty rupees. So we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Fifty rupees to get ourselves a shield not the hardest thing in the world to get. I want to be able to get the glove, so we're going to take a weird way out of the village. So first we'll head north here, and block by rocks. Of course it's blocked by rocks. I think that's going to be the same for this path. Yeah, bigger rock. 
and I guess we can exit out the south of town. Well, I know what I'm actually wanting is way north of town. Uh, I think there's probably going to be something, at least a better chance of getting rupees if we go south. Since I think there is one more shield shop we can pass. Oh no. Ah, the dreaded minigame right here. Welcome to the Cuckoo Ranch, home of the cutest cuckoos in Hyrule. Yeah, these guys. Nope, I will be doing that later during a minigame purpose, like minigame thing or something. But there's this interesting field to the right here with what looks like an arrow pointing at it. So let's head up to it. And what do we see? More grass. Oh, a little bit of rupees. Oh, we got a bee. A bee has shown up. We caught a bee. Let's put it in a bottle. Hey, you've come to play with me, Link? So did all those animals. They always come running when I show up. <laughs> they run off it. They run off if anyone else comes along. wonder why. Uh, more the merrier, that's what I think. Alright, since we got that bee, I wasn't expecting that. I was just showing that's where Gully is. So... He's perfectly fine, he's just hiding in that little area. We can head back to Kakariko, because... Ow. Oh, we took some damage. Rude. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's usually hearts in the grass pretty easily, which is kind of disturbing when you think about it. But... We can head right up here. And... Ta-da! Talk to this guy. Wasps that? You found one? I couldn't be more delighted. The bees sheen and she's the bee's knees. Here's my way of saying thanks. Take this, Buzz. He gives us 50 rupees. So he's an easy way of getting... Yeah, he's easy to get money, but he wants the golden bee. The golden bee would be very nice to have. But I just wanted that money. We can get our shield and we can move on to the Eastern Palace. Um, where we will be able to continue. Sorry for this one being basically side stuff. Um, technically, you never really needed to go to Kakariko. But, we'll purchase this shield. We almost had enough for it w without, because I had been just hitting everything all over the place. But, we can now use R to guard ourselves. And, we've got to head really far now, because we want to be headed to... Let's zoom out the map. There, we, we're headed to the opposite side of the game. Fortunately, it, the maps aren't as big as you would think at looking at them. So we head here, we're already at the blacksmiths, and this witch seems to be flying around. Well, I guess it's important for later. We found Gully. Well, alright then, we didn't tell him to hurry home, and we didn't tell you we found him, so I guess he's lost forever. We'll go, we're gonna walk right past our house, because it should be yeah, right down here on this screen. Not too worried about that. We'll continue over. We're already almost there, so we're just gonna keep up the push. Excuse you. Random little Octorok. Which I don't even think that's what those ones are. I think the. Oh no, actually, Octoroks make sense for these guys. Alright, we'll head north, right towards the Eastern Palace. Oh, there's a few glowing orbs and a locked. Door. Hey, are you the adventuring type? Then have I got the items for you. Visit me south of the castle. Bravio. Well, okay, what's this one say? The exact same thing. What? Ooh. A ruby. Drink. Not worried. Running away. Nice little tech type there. Yeah, a nice easy 20 rupees um, if you just jump down into the, the dangerous area surrounded by two enemies. And we'll just cut some grass to get a heart. There we go. Not really at risk anymore. I guess let's head home, because we've got to go see Ravio, who apparently has an item we can use. But we're going to touch this weather rain and call it here. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. And in the next part, we're going to go see Ravio and see why he's blocking off the access to Eastern Palace. Is that going to be something that stopped Hugo? 
Well, we'll find out next time. Have a good night.